<laughs> you know how I do that? Well, let me ask you that. I, the one thing I'd seen, uh, she, she was bragging about uh, with Riker, uh, knocking her out in, in, uh, in sparring. I ain't even see a Riker. I ain't none of them motherfuckers. I'm Ann Wolf. What, what do you think of her stand-up? I, mean, I, I don't give a damn about her. I don't care about her. I don't even want to talk about her. I have eight world titles and four different weight classes. So. Overall, are you impressed? And, and then, goddamn, Lucille Riker is old enough to be my grandma. <laughs> have, you, have you seen her stand-up? I mean, have you watched around at all? What do you think of, of her stand-up overall and then basically a lot of the women in MMA as far as her, her boxing she skills? She's about 135. My daughter weighs 135. Tell her we'll go in a real live 100% boxing match. She 9 and 0. She's ranked number one in the nation. So whoop her motherfucking ass. So you, you think she's uh, got a little big for her britches, maybe, on her success in MMA? Hell yeah, to say that she'll spoil Floyd Mayweather. Uh -huh. She eats. Another thing I want to ask you about real quick, your old driver, we, we, last year on our radio show we had uh, Layla Ali on our show. And she was she was a little upset about your feud and, and, and you saying that that she didn't want to fight you. She did. Um, she she insisted. She said even now. I said tell Ann Wolf come on the show. I'll fight her even now. Layla, you kissed my ass. You didn't want to fight. I'm old. I'm like Lucille Rock. Why the fuck you gonna fight old ass motherfucker? How old is Lucille Rock anyway? Yeah, I think she's fifty. <laughs> and then, then last thing, did that frustrate you back in the day that you didn't get a chance to play Layla, given the, all the attention she got? Was that kind of bug you, that, that feeling that you were better, that you didn't get a chance to, to show the world you're the better fighter? The world know I'm the better fighter. Well, well the, the, the lady who might not have known you as well as her, I mean, she had... Well, they lost. <laughs> I, I am the best. And, and what, that's, that, that's that Hollywood shit. Yeah. Now you East do. Coast and in Central Texas and the places that it matter with boxing is really, you know, that old Hollywood shit. You know, that's a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. And now as far as the training, is that something you enjoy doing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. More than boxing maybe or is it uh Yeah, more than boxing. Yeah. How frustrated are you with, with the women's boxing in, in, in the... Uh, None at all. You, you think it's in a good place right now, or where do you think it's going in the future? It's, going, it's, where, oh, no. it's where it's at. Yeah. Well, and, and do you... Uh, I, I'll do whatever I can do to make it better, but it's just where it's at. Do you, do you feel that MMA, as far as the, the success at the of women's MMA, the popularity of it, is it something that, that maybe a boxing can feed off of, or is it something they're competing with? or? Uh, MMA, you know, they let the girls get on, but then you got some stupid-ass motherfucker come saying crazy shit like that, when she should know that can't, no girl can't take no them type of punches. You, you seem particularly upset with Ronda Rousey. What yeah, was? Because, you know what, it's like a, a fucking ant trying to say something to an elephant. Right. You know what I'm saying? How the fuck she gonna even call Floyd Mayweather name and she's a MMA girl fighter? That's what pisses me off because who gives a damn? She'll get the shit knocked out of her. Alright, Anna, appreciate it. And, uh, oh, fight prediction for the uh, tonight. Um, I don't ever predict because either way, somebody going to get their ass moved, but I'm root for Angulo, which I don't think he got enough to pull it out, but I hope he got an uphill battle for it. All right. All right, thanks, man. Appreciate it.